And so Michelle had organized a conference in Ohio and we had about an hour of free time um, between what we were doing and a lot of the participants were writing during that time too. So we were like, let's just, why don't we go write a song? You know, there's a piano here and let's see what happens. Um, for me personally, I was still kind of in the middle of one of the sickest times I had been in life, just really unhealthy and not doing well. And it was hard for me to even attend the conference, but I really was pushing myself at that point to just try and do things normal and live live normally. So for me, singing that the night's gone and joy is coming was something I needed to sing like right then and right there. And um, it was just, you know, there's those songs that you that you sing that it's because you need help like right in the moment and you're saying like it's a prayer and it's also kind of prophesying over your life like I want this to, to end and I see it ending and it was just full of hope and um, it was it was sometime later maybe even a year later that um, I was traveling down to Nashville and we were doing a writer's night that weekend and I was going a little bit early for some meetings and different things and Michelle had called me and we were just talking through some stuff with life and everything and I told her I said hey I'm participating in this writer's night and I'm gonna share the night's gun I would love it if you came and sang it with me I think it would be great for you to sing over your life right now too. It's so it's so beautiful and so important I think to look back on like your history with God and see where he um, he like marks moments for you along the way. And that was a moment for me that I was so broken. I um, was in the midst of a really emotionally abusive and traumatic situation. But at that time, like had very little clarity, did not know how to move forward, did not know how to get better. And um, was just really in the lowest place that I'd ever been. And it was really unexpected. And so I had, honestly kind of forgotten that we wrote that song you know that day was very much a whirlwind for me um I remember being stressed out and running around and trying to coordinate things but yeah when we went down and we we sang it at the, at the writer's desk I remember it was a hard song for me to sing at that moment because I felt like it felt like midnight you know it didn't feel like the night was gone but the Lord said I want you to prophesy this over your life I want you to just declare that the glory of the latter house will be greater than the former. Um, which is just, it, that's really hard to do when, when your emotions are broken and all you see is what's in front of you. It, it's hard to imagine um, sometimes things getting better. But I remember I sang it and uh, really felt a shift in my spirit at that point. It, it was really, I think, at that moment, that I started to rise up and the Holy Spirit began to empower me to walk out of that situation and to navigate it and to um, just take active steps toward healing. So, Joy is coming. Whoa. It was months later. I had gotten to a point where I really, the Lord had given me a lot of clarity about what had happened and just how uh, how it was just a trap from the enemy. And I really wanted to share um, just a little bit of my testimony on on my my music Facebook page. And it was very impersonal and vague. I just wanted to say what the Lord had done. And, felt this overwhelming pressure as soon as I started to hit share like Satan was saying like you can't say that you know and I I paused and I prayed and I was like Lord what like what is that fear I'm feeling and he said it's a fear of exposure but it's not yours it belongs to him and so as soon as I shared it and started talking a little bit more freely about it it just really like it was a step forward and just to a whole another level of freedom for me, it was like before I ever walked through that, the Lord gave me a song to sing over myself. Um, and so it's just, to me, it, it's like even now to see it, like have new life and to go forth in a new way is just 
this is a testament to the, the kindness of God and to um, like he never lets the devil get the last word, you know. So it's really exciting for me. And so I hope that other people who have, you know, battled longer periods of of just having health issues will see, you know, God's goodness through that and to hold on to hope and joy that it's still that it's coming and that his healing is for you. Whether it be sickness or abuse, you know, sometimes you, you find yourself um, in really dark seasons that you just had no control over. My prayer is that the song would lead to even greater revelation um, for people that not only is morning coming, but Jesus is the morning, you know, and scripture calls him the bright and morning star and the day spring. And, and David said, you know, even that, even if one translation says, even if I'm wrapped up in night, like your presence will be light around me, will make the night become the day. And so it's like, yes, he does restore our situations, but he also, like, he is the person of Jesus is light and is, is morning and is day. So I hope that it just, it lends that hope to people um, when they listen, when they hear it.